to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tansy and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be one of my dressing room try on videos and I headed on over to Maya to see what they have. Now I really do like Maya. I like the quality of the clothes that they have in Maya. They do have a forever new section which I normally do on its own so I will do that another time. I didn't add any of those clothes into my try on today. There's quite a few other brands that they also do have in Maya so I found lots of stuff to try on and I thought I'd share with you guys. As I said I do find a lot of the clothing in Maya to be good quality durable and also quite timeless even though it is a little bit on the pricier side the things that they have in there they are things that you literally can keep for such a long time and a lot of it is totally timeless and you can wear time after time year after year so i thought let me share i know a lot of you guys do work some of you work in the office place some of you don't but you know what there's something for everybody so sit back relax and let's see what they have at maya also if you are not from australia you might not have maya in the country or place where you ever you are from maya Maya is like a Macy's, it's a department store that has all different brands in there and I kind of like a good department store. I feel like they've been dying down lately and I love going in there. I love the perfume section, I love then going to the shoe section, bag section and I like how everything is all in one. So anyways, I know you guys are probably here to see what we've tried on so uh, let's get going. The first item that I tried on was the first thing that I saw and it was purple staring at me in the face and I was like... I'm trying you on. I am loving that there is so many coats everywhere. They're so pretty. Coats galore. So I did try on a bunch of coats just to share with you guys because when you buy a coat, it's literally a staple in your wardrobe and will sit there for years and years. We won't just sit there. You'll wear it, of course. But it would be great to have. I already do have a purple coat that I recently got. So that's my baby for now. But this coat that I tried on, so cute. I am also in love with the tweed look. I just I just love the look of tweed. I feel like it's so elegant. It's expensive. It's older. I don't know. I just really love it. And this is what this coat was giving. Now this coat was in the brand Taquito Curve. And I tried on in a size 22 and it stayed on really, really nicely. Now it is double breasted, which is something I don't normally like, but I liked how this stayed. I'll be honest with you, I liked how it looked better when it was open rather than when it was buttoned up. I still felt that it was it's that double breast. I just feel like it kind of, how can I say this? It's the double breast. Like I just like the waist to be cinched in and I feel like the double breast elongates where it's cinched in and someone like me who's quite hippie it kind of sits there and i don't love that for me but the color the pattern on this beautiful the buttons were beautiful as well and wearing it open is what's comfy anyway a lot more movement can happen when it's over when it's open stands you can't speak it was really nice you could see the detail that was put into making this. It is a very nice quality. It has pockets, which I would assume when you get home, you unpick so you can pop your hands in there if you need to, or keys or whatever. Beautiful coat, stayed really nicely on. If you like that color or a coat like that, definitely recommend. That one retails for $149.95. And I'm going to be honest with you, that is a good price for a good quality coat. Next up, another Taquito Curve coat, and this one was gorgeous i got it in a size 22 and this very light light pink color so pretty this coat was so girly looking i i just really really liked it, it was just so pretty i liked how it was different like it's not just a plain coat like there was some rounding to it if that makes sense like it had the roundness in the shoulder area and then in the collar as well it had nice big buttons and then it kind of had that look where it can cinch you in and then sits quite out nicely nice and long Good quality, lined on the inside, very pretty, will definitely keep you warm, but you also look cute as well. Maybe cute wasn't the right word because I feel like people don't want to look cute, but very pretty, very girly. If you want that look, this coat is perfect. It also had pockets as well. Go check it out. That one retails for $169.95. Next up, well, I was definitely on a Taquito Curve roll. I actually don't really look at the brands when I'm in Maya. I tend to just go, oh, that looks nice, and I just, you know, pop things off the racks. And I tried on this faux leather jacket, and I tried on a size 20. 
so cool i really really liked it i feel like this one is one that i would wear like zipped up because i kind of like that look i like you to see all the zippers and all the movement and i love a leather jacket look and this was sort of one that's not too long which is something i like it's definitely one that you can wear open and it looks really nice i like how the bottom is not chunky you know sometimes jackets when they're shorter they have a quite chunky bottom this Feel really nicely and it is the style of sort of like a double breast because it's a zipper it doesn't have that impact sleeves were beautiful weren't tight at all they came at a good length I feel like this was done very very nicely great quality sat really nicely on as you guys can see definitely one that I would consider and something like this literally you can keep using these leather jackets are in all the time it's such a classic element and something of this style so classic and you can wear over and over again i definitely recommend if you want something like that check it out it was so pretty and i feel like also like it's not too heavy like leather looking style like it's something that you could still wear like over a floral dress and still look elegant or you could wear with jeans and have a bit more of an edgier look as well so definitely if you want something like that check it out that one retails for 129.95 Next up, one of my favorite things that I tried on, and this is why I always say sometimes just try things on, because on the hanger I was like, that's pretty, that's nice, because it's kind of like upper neck, mm, it's probably not going to look nice on me. I loved it. Now I tried on this black dress in a size 20 and I just feel like it was made for me. I don't know. In all honesty, the look of it was so nice. Now this is definitely one that you could wear to work, you could wear to lunch, you could wear anywhere and just feel comfortable because you're covered in the right areas if you want to be covered. And it just you still look quite trendy, elegant, lovely, put together. I just really liked it. And normally, as I say, I like this, for example, I don't really love things that are high neck, mainly because I feel a little suffocating, but also because I'm larger chested, I just feel like, for me, I feel suffocated and I also feel like it just makes my chest look even bigger because it really outlines them, but I guess it's just personal preference. But this dress just looked so nice on. I also loved the sleeves. They came at a good length as well. I get it like you would definitely need to wear a jacket if it's cold. But for those winter days where the sun is shining like today, it's perfect. But you can also wear it in the off season like you wear in autumn. You could wear it in spring so many times because the knit bit will keep you warm anyway. It is nice and fitted which is what I like and there was a little tie up in the middle which is something that's definitely my style. And what I also liked was that it had a little split on the side and it wasn't that high. A lot of the times I'm finding these places have these slits. They are just too too high and then you kind of like you can see my shape way underneath but this was perfect so it was just there just to make it look nice and trendy but it wasn't something that was overpowering to the dress all in all i highly recommend that dress so if you want like a black dress that's a go-to definitely check it out that one retails for 119.95 Next up, I tried on this other jacket in the Takedo Curve brand and I tried on in a size 20. Now, I just remember that this one didn't have a price tag on it, so I will pop it up on the screen. I'll look it up and hopefully it's online. Now, this jacket fit very nicely on. It has that like David Jones vibe, even though I was in Maya. But it's a, it's a classic jacket. That mini houndstooth print is very classic, very timeless. Something you can definitely keep for a very long time. This jacket can be worn on so many things. It's actually nice and long. So I feel like it'll be quite pretty with like a skirt and a top or a dress. Very worky. And I guess because it's like black and white, it literally goes on any color outfit that you're wearing. So if you're someone who likes to make sure like your coat matches your clothes, this would definitely go with everything. I really like the fit of it the sleeves were not tight at all i could button it up as well plenty of room to move very nice it was very very nicely done you can see the good quality that's been put into it i highly recommend that one's also double breasted which as you know i'm not a great fan but it looks very nice open next up i've got a couple of tops for you now as you might know levi's is in maya and i thought let me try some casual stuff because I like to see what they have. So first up, I tried on this nice long sleeve top and I grabbed it in a size 2XL. Now this came in this pinky sort of pattern and it also came in the blue, like the same little like flecky kind of pattern and just a nice simple top. 
I like the openness to it. The top is ribbed, so there's plenty of stretch to it as well. Wasn't tied in the arms. This is definitely a top that I would like to wear tucked in because that's how I kind of like to wear my tops. But comfortable, stretchy. If you like wearing jeans or pants, I feel like this top would look really nice with them. Also, gonna skirt going. It's it's a top. It's a nice long sleeve top. It retails for $79.95. And I do find a lot of the times the Levi stuff is on sale. Another top I also tried on in the Levi's brand was this like a cardigan style top. And I tried this one on in the 3X. Size was perfect. I like the buttons. I like how they were like snap buttons. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, I would probably wear this just as a top with all the buttons done, but I would also wear it with like a singlet underneath, do like one or two buttons. I like that look as well. This is nice and comfy. It's soft. It was stretchy. It also had that ribbed fabric as well. So it's also a great like everyday top if you want something with long sleeve, something a little bit different to just a simple top, but also not so heavy in terms of like cutting because a lot of times the cardigans are knit fabric so I do like this fabric for something lightweight and it's great in the transition seasons as well and that one retails for $69.95 and the next top I tried on was the Basque brand now I tried this top on in a size medium there was quite a few of these tops floating about the place in different colors and a little bit different fabrics so I feel like this top is definitely one that's in everywhere like I've seen it in Target I've seen it in Country Road lots of places so these tops with long sleeve top with the collar are certainly in for this winter and it's just a nice go-to top now this fabric was a little bit on the slinkier side so and it was also long so I feel like it might possibly be designed to be worn over like tights or some jeggings so if you want to wear it long it was comfortable there was plenty of room to move it was stretchy it also had the like line ribs kind of go through but a little bit further out so plenty of stretch to it so if you're after something like that definitely check it out the color I feel like wasn't really my color I feel like I didn't do much for me so maybe that's what was throwing me off but also I'm not a huge collared top person I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm still trying to slowly get into it. I feel like when I find the right one, I'll probably love it. <laughs> but this one, I didn't love. Definitely comfortable, definitely soft, very nice, just not, not for me. And that one retails for $89.95. And lastly, also in the Basque brand, I tried on this lovely black like satin style dress. Now, they didn't have any bigger sizes, so I grabbed an 18 to try on. I was a little bit disappointed how they had like four to five size 16s to 18s and none of the bigger size, which firstly probably means that the bigger sizes were sold out. But a lot of the times it usually means that they only had like two from the bigger sizes and that's why they are sold out. But this dress was quite lovely. I feel like the 18 did fit me. A 20 probably would have looked a little bit nicer on, but I had no issues with the 18. There was plenty of room in the arms. I like how it had the elastic and cinches you in in the waist. It sat nicely on. I like the like two little strings that came about. If you like, you can tie them up. That's not my usual look, but I like how you've got options. It was a tiered bottom and there was a little slit in the side, which I also liked. However, because there was quite a bit of fabric down the bottom, I don't really think the slit was necessary. You could barely see it. Like I literally had to kind of move it around to show you guys that it's there. So your leg very rarely would come out and give you that like, look, I have a slit in my dress look. So well, see, interesting, I will say. What I didn't like was the arms. Now, they actually had elastic in the waistband. I first thought it was long sleeves. And then I realized, no, the sleeves only came up to here. And I thought, even if the size was too small, the sleeves would come at a normal length. So in other words, it's probably meant to sit at your elbow. But the elastic felt a little bit tight for around the elbow. And I just know, after like half an hour, I would have that elastic mark here. And it would just bother me. I'd keep like pulling at it. So that's something that the elastic must have been like too thin of an elastic that I felt it. So that's something I wouldn't like. And whilst because this dress is quite pretty, I feel like it's more of a going out style dress when you might wear it to dinner or out somewhere for the evening due to the fabric. So I wouldn't want to be uncomfortable. Well, I wouldn't be want to be uncomfortable any time of the day, really. But yeah, so that's something that I didn't love about this dress. But otherwise, it was very nice. It sat nicely on. It would probably be one that you would have to iron, which I don't love either. So yeah. There was actually a lot of satin fabric. They had tops in that satin fabric as well. It's just that I know personally I probably wouldn't wear a shirt in that fabric that didn't have buttons. I didn't see any that had buttons. They were just kind of like 
shirt tops but yeah so if you're after something like that Maya has them and that just retails for $149.95 and that is everything that I tried on over at Maya as I said to you guys there were a lot of coats and coats are in because it's winter and it's actually a good time to get yourself a nice coat or a blazer because they are timeless and they're not actually in all every year they do have coats every year but they might not have the kind of color or style you like so if you see something like that purple in the beginning I would recommend getting it because you won't be in next you like as in you won't see it in the stores but you could definitely still wear it because tweed is always in always looks classy and ele elegant i was going to say element what is that word but that is the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy everything that i tried on for you today comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item also have you been shopping at maya lately and what have you bought if you have because uh, i like to wander in there i like to buy some makeup i like to buy little bits and bobs of everything and i'm gonna be honest i know people complain that like the curve section is separate i don't mind it i like at least i like to know where it is it's like the curve section is there I'll just go and I know that everything in that section is for me and I don't have to rummage through the racks just to see if something comes in my size. So really, I, I actually quite like curve section being separate, especially if that brand is not going to have everything that comes up to a bigger size. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, give the video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.